I apologize for the noise and for the lack of editing involved in this video. I would like to make this video somewhat quick. This is my idea for a uniform for the uh, urban uniform that is for the provisional government of the Republic of Florida. This is the idea I have. Urban uniform, not uh, camouflage at all. It's more of an urban uh, uniform. Could also be used for uh, heavier law enforcement type activities. Uh, but then again, you don't want to become the enemy, but this is uh, my idea for the urban uniform for the provisional government of the Republic of Florida. This is a 511 shirt right here. It's 511. These are colors that blend in well to Florida's environment, and also I think they reflect that the colors themselves, I believe, reflect the attitude of the Republic of Florida, somewhat light colors. This uniform looks actually less threatening than a police officer's uniform, uh, in my opinion. It's lighter colors. It also blends in very well to urban and suburban environments. But it doesn't look all threatening. It doesn't have camouflage on it. It's uh, It would be an okay dress uniform also. You know, it, it didn't look uh, it didn't look too fancy or anything, but I believe dress uniforms should also have a certain degree of combat effectiveness. This uniform is not an urban uniform that I suggest that we dive into quickly. This is not something we currently have the funding for right now. This uniform would probably cost an all around five hundred dollars. The pants are five eleven tack light pro. That's seventy bucks. Another. Uh, Another 80 bucks or so for the shirt. Uh, if we could get a variation of this with short sleeves, then it might be a little bit less. Uh, the gloves, the gloves are obviously optional. There's other things that we can do, but I'd like to point out these gloves are very nice. These are our 511 tactical gloves as well. And I, I believe this would be a very nice. Uh, uh, urban uniform given the funding for the provisional government of the Republic of Florida because this is a lot of uh, law enforcement it's, it's a combination of law enforcement uniform type stuff that has not been utilized much by law enforcement more by private military contractors but it's in such a combination that not that many have really considered. I have seen people wearing similar combinations to that which I'm wearing right now but it has not been considered by many law enforcement agencies. It hasn't been considered by that many private military. These boots are rocky boots, I can honestly say. Though they are very great and they are very high end, I can honestly say that they are, were pretty cheap uh, you know, for a law enforcement type pair of boots. And I'm going for a law enforcement uh, scheme as far as the clothing wise because Law enforcement clothing of this nature, the more SWAT-ish type of clothing, was meant for urban environments. And I've also personally put this through a lot of non-urban environments and can say that this is the best option uh, for the provisional government of the Republic of Florida in all regards, or at least clothing like it that meets the specifications. You know, I'm not trying to you know, sell the product at 5.11 right now, but anything that meets these specifications is something we need to, uh, to acquire. And I think this, should, this, for example, I can honestly say this would be a you know, perfect uh, uniform for urban operations, perhaps even, perhaps even police type operations for the provisional government of the Republic of Florida. But I want you guys' opinion on it. So those on the ROF militia page, those on all the Republic of Florida related pages, please let me know how you feel about this uniform. And uh, if you would wear it, and if, if you think that once we get the funding to acquire such uniforms, if we should go this type of route, uh, I'll say it one more time before I turn the camera off. I've had these, a lot of this, what I'm wearing now, looks, looks new, but I've had it for damn near a year now, a lot of what I'm wearing now, and it still looks very new, and I put it through a lot of crap. So I'm going to go ahead and turn the camera off now. Let me know how you guys feel about it.